I removed my wedding sari from the wardrobe after five years. But you know what? It was smelling weird. Silk sarees, I remove them after two, three years from my wardrobe. And every time I do, are they looking cracked at the folds? So many sarees. How to store them in one single wardrobe? So many complaints and doubts about maintaining sarees. Don't worry, stay tuned till the end of this video. I will give you very helpful tips about how to maintain and store silk sarees. Hello and welcome to Pratha. This is Kavita Koparkar. Essentially, silk sarees, pure silk sarees and especially handloom pure silk sarees are very close to your heart. You are very sensitive. You have a soft corner about how to maintain them, keep them nicely in the wardrobe. So here I'll be giving you very easy tips about how to store these sarees and keep them nice and safe in your wardrobe. Firstly, remember sarees want to breathe. Do not store them in hard, tight plastic containers like these. These are something which will not let your saree breathe. If at all you want to st store your sarees in organizers, make sure these kind of plastic organizers have depth to them and store only two or three sarees in a bigger container so that the sarees will have a little space to move. After that, I will recommend always store your sarees in cotton. What you have options that you have are nice and malmal bags like these. These are cloth bags. You get ready-made cotton bags like these. You can just store sarees, single sarees and bags just the way I'm showing. Or you can simply store them in cotton cloth, preferably old cotton cloth so that it is nice and soft. You can just wrap the sarees, two, three sarees together in one cloth, then again two, three sarees together in one cloth. That is the most ideal way to store sarees. Always remember, air your sarees once in a while. An expensive silk sari needs to be removed from the wardrobe after every four to five months. Remove them from the wardrobe. Open them not completely, but at least two, three folds need to be unfolded. Air the saris. You can simply keep them under a fan or you can keep them uh, in sunlight, not in harsh sunlight, in a mild, mild sunlight. Um, just give them this air so that moisture in the sarees goes away because moisture might lead to some white fungus in the sarees sometimes which lead to odor that's why your sarees smell weird sometimes even blankets and uh, bed sheets if you store them for a long time in the wardrobe and remove them only during winters you have that weird smell to the blankets right similarly you get this kind of a smell uh, for your sarees because of moisture so always remember you should have uh, you should air your sarees and uh, make sure they do not have any moisture in them one more thing you can place naphthalene balls in your wardrobe make sure they do not come directly in contact with your sarees which because that might lead to fading or creating patches on the silk saree if you want to store naphthalene balls in the wardrobe just make a nice um, uh, you know uh, just wrap them up in a handkerchief and keep them in a corner of the cupboard which will also soak in moisture also you get small um, silicon gel bags like these which also soak moisture so they will be very helpful they do not stain they are easy you can just keep them on or somewhere in between the sari stack one more important tip do not hang your sarees on hangers okay especially not on steel hangers because steel hangers tend to rust and the rust will always spoil the sarees so do not hang your sarees on wardrobes for a long time if at all you have lesser space and you want to hang the sarees, make sure you hang them on either on plastic uh, hangers or on wooden hangers. But your wooden hangers need to have some plastic coating to the rod on which you actually hang the sarees. So these are a few tips about hanging the sarees. About the odor in your wardrobe, always uh, there are uh, nice options like, um, you know, wardrobe fragrances, which are quite trending nowadays. Otherwise, a simple natural uh, technique is you can just uh, have a bunch of neem leaves 
dry them in uh, in uh, harsh sun you need to dry them completely and just place them in the stacks of sarees they will not stain your sarees if they are completely dry and they always give out a refreshing smell so yes these were a few tips about keeping sarees in your wardrobe maintaining them and one more last tip that i want to give about folding sarees is that if you want if you don't want the sarees to get worn out at the folds make sure you open the sarees and fold them in the opposite direction every once in a while i hope these tips were useful do subscribe to my channel do like the video and do mention in the comments what next you would like to know thank you